Yo, yo, it's Weefu with the Scroll Screen. Pow! Welcome back. Yo, welcome back. A long and well-deserved welcome back. I'm sorry, guys, but you can blame YouTube. But woohoo, today's my birthday, August the 25th. Although I'm not sad enough to be sat here editing a video today on my birthday, this has been pre-edited. So technically, this should be uploaded and with you on August the 25th. How many birthday wishes can I get? Show the reef some love. So as it's my birthday, I've decided to give you six pretty spooky happenings caught on camera and snapped on home security, as I do love my paranormal clips. So if you like your spooky stuff and like to be left terrified, you'll want to stick around for this one. So let's get started with this fast shadow person scene dashing back and forth in an apparent empty home. This is uploaded by a Sarah Marie to her TikTok claiming that they saw the shadow zipping back and forth and managed to catch her on camera. And this home is said to have been emptied or abandoned for almost a year now. Take a close look at the window in the door. So as you can imagine, this has had mixed reviews, ranging from this video editing, it's some meth heads squatting in the building, I don't think meth heads can move that fast unless they're on their way to get a fix, or as this video is actually showing, it's a ghost or a shadow person. It is said that ghosts move on a different time frame than us, replaying their past life in residual energies but in double time compared to the real world. It gets me thinking about spirits and dreams and out of body experiences. It is said that the average human dream can last only a few seconds to around half an hour, but you can dream in an entire adventure or scenario in only a few seconds, but your brain processes that information as if it's spanned out, as if you're living it in the moment. Out of body experiences, sleep, spirits, is there a connection? Who knows? <laughs> Right, this is a strange one, blink and you'll miss it. A possible shadow person stalking a bear? A girl named Chrissy was going about her day to day business when she noticed a bear scavenging through some bins. So as you do, she gets her phone out and starts recording. But being a bit nervous and dubious of the entire situation, she didn't film for long and she only noticed this figure when she replayed the video back. It's coming down. It's coming down. I'm on it. It's coming down. I'm on it. So some people seem to think that this is just a reflection of a shadow being cast off of a car window. But Chrissy states she was on foot filming the bear directly. And if we look closely, this figure seems to be wearing a hat. These mysterious dark shadow figures, if it is one, are commonly known or seen wearing these types of old fashioned or vintage hats. I'm not sure what to make of this one, and why was it stalking a bear? It's coming down. It gets even weirder. A retired widower named Barry shared this image to a paranormal Facebook group looking for answers on this eerie image with the caption. Can anyone tell me your thoughts on this? It was picked up on my motion sensor camera in my kitchen last night around 3am. The strangest part is, Barry lives alone. This thing looks so solid and it doesn't even look human. It's got the posture of the penguin from the original Batman movie. Moving on to these two images that were uploaded by an Angie Champion. This was picked up on my grandson's baby cam this weekend. My daughter is absolutely terrified to be in that room now and my grandson screams anytime he is in that room alone. So they are now leaving to stay with family. Has anybody ever heard of something like this happen? 
It's not just the images, she's also woken up with bruises on her legs recently, the dog being out of its crate, with the crate still locked etc. So in these images, this is Carter's room. He can't sleep in there lately or be in there by himself without screaming his lungs off like he is terrified of something. Nobody has actually seen anything in the house until the camera in his room picked this up the last few days. I have never been one to believe in this kind of thing, but as soon as I saw the first picture, I felt nauseated. At the time that this first picture was taken, they were both downstairs having lunch, and the second picture is Carter in his crib, but I don't know what that cloud looking thing is in front of his face. So a set of very eerie images captured on a baby monitor. What do you think? Once again, another terrified victim of a haunting. He captured this eerie image. A Destry Allen shared his image into a paranormal group saying, I had a visitor through the night. This was captured on his motion detection camera. It looks like an old woman calmly looking over him. I'm not sure if Destry had recently had a bereavement in the family, and I do say calmly looking over him, but I could be completely wrong. This could be an old hag, a sleep paralysis demon. Either way, pack your bags and get out of me. So this is another strange one to make you think. A trail camera set up in a cornfield in Hubertus, Wisconsin. Sorry for murder that pronunciation. But a trail camera has captured a very creepy still image of a figure walking along the edge of a cornfield. The camera is a motion sensor detection camera and it only takes pictures when something triggers the motion detector. Which almost proves that the weird figure must have been moving for the camera to have taken the photo. The figure looks like a tall thin man or a woman in some sort of nightgown or dress. If the image wasn't creepy enough, the figure is almost as tall as the corn. And to make things even more stranger, the corn was at its peak measuring nearly 6 meters tall, roughly 19 to 20 feet. It could very well be false perspective, it may not. Maybe it's related to the Slenderman legend. So if you haven't been spooked enough, I'm going to leave you with a few images you've probably never seen before of the 1933 version of the play Alice in Wonderland. This is nightmare fuel on its own and sure to give you the creeps. So until next time my friends, sleep tight.